Welcome to Cutter Nation U. Today we're gonna to be going over how to use a short box to your advantage to still be on the mound, to throw all your pitches, to make yourself a little bit more effective. Welcome to Cutter Nation U, how to use a short box to your advantage. A short box, for you guys don't know, is a way for a pitcher to do a shortened version of their pitching motion, but still feel the slope of their mount. You do this very simply. We've got our catcher here, John Fields. John, once you set up for me where a normal catcher goes, we're 60 feet, six inches on our whole lane here, he's gonna be back where he is. A short box is him coming up like that. Go ahead and get down right there. We're trying to feel everything that we're supposed to. We're going to hit our catcher right in the chest. Thank you. Okay. Throwing on the flat ground is very simple and easy for any pitcher to be able to do, but that's not what's going to make it easier for you to be able to throw strikes. It's getting comfortable on the mound. So what I like to do inside my short box is start a little bit at the base of it and be able to throw. That way I can get used to the slope of what I'm trying to do when I'm trying to throw the ball. So I come up here to the top. This is the biggest slope for what I've got. What I need to do is still visualize me throwing the pitches of where I want and locate. So I'm going to practice my wind up. Throw my pitch. Makes me feel, makes me feel my motion as I'm trying to throw my pitches and I don't have to really strain my arm, but I still get used to the slope. The more comfortable I can be on the mound, the more comfortable I can move down the mound, the easier it is for me to go hard and learn how to throw strikes and throw any pitch that I want as most, and as most effectively as I can. Makes it a lot easier when you can feel that. I get the visualization of him being short. I know when he goes all the way back, I'm gonna be down in the zone. I wanna be down in the zone with all my pitches. One of the hardest parts about this though is throwing breaking balls that are shorter. So you have to be able to control your sideways move to make sure it spins correctly and you're still trying to locate it at the knees. 